base to, to do any maintenance oil changes or anything like that so when he can run up back home he can get some of that stuff done so we're going to head over to George yeah. and put it up on a lift and do some work be a fun time. yeah so he, he's been a little closer to us than North Carolina he's been in Virginia so it was a quick three-hour drive come back home that was a little easier. Yeah. Uh, he can get back more for uh, some more car shows. Yeah. yeah. Looks like he might be a little closer to us for a while. So that'll be nice. He won't have an eight hour drive. Come up and visit us. Yeah, just can't hit that DC traffic. That's the big thing. Yeah, 95 is the worst. So, but here in the Challenger, looking good. Yeah. Cleaned it up yesterday. Finally. It was, <laughs> you can ask it, it was really dirty when I got back. Yeah, it looked like he was mud hopping. He had mud all over the side. I don't know where he was driving. Yeah, it's a thing. Difficult on base to get anything done, especially when you're living in a barracks. six-cylinder turbos but you just don't have as much fun no, it doesn't might, sound as good either might be quick but it doesn't have the heart and soul of a v8 yeah you're not getting that go do a little work got some stuff coming up for uh for the Shelby, very excited. Got some news on on some some things I have in store for it. So stay tuned for that one. It's gonna be good. Yeah. Maybe do a little bit this weekend too. Yeah. See what we can get into. George will be able to hear us from here. Let him know we're on our way. Sent me a picture of a, a GT350 on base the other day. Yeah. So he was doing some uh, first body. But this car fits in. It's good. We got some. 
somebody here already with the Shelby out. She's looking good. is got the hemi let her cool down and get this oil changed but she is looking clean yes, it really is. and there's george we want to thank george for morning letting us use the garage again morning. welcome this time it's my car so it's, <laughs> it's a mopar garage too yeah i'm a whole time <laughs> mopar guy too so trust me <laughs> hey Anything cars, right? Anything. More or less. I've owned everything, I think, so. Yeah. But she looks good. And here's what this Mopar looks like without the cover on it. So, just thing just pops right off. I place the cover, exposes everything. to move that just slide that back yeah watch your head yeah, you get to see everything under here now yeah you can look at the job he did in the back end yeah <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> Looks good. Nice job on this thing. Oh, we did. And there's the the valves. Look a lot like ours. Yeah. And look at that X pipe. I saw that. Did a nice job putting that in. Yeah. Well, this this is factory here. Is it? Yeah. That's factory. All, oh, all he did was, oh, those are the pieces he just did. cut out the mid-mufflers right here. No kidding. Yeah, so that's factory. Huh. Factory x pipe. Yeah, that looks good. It does. They replaced that too from the accident. Yeah, so they just went, yeah, bolt on from there, that straight on back, and redid the whole exhaust system. I see a thing, uh, yesterday I was reading on the forum, so one of the guys bought high flow caps. It was 350. Uh huh. I know the car, then put them on. He got all of like, I don't know, 19 horsepower. We're going to get Dominic's hands dirty now. Usually he has. Uh, <laughs> He's a watcher, huh? Usually he has carbon build up on him. That's how he gets them dirty. I'm <laughs> shooting guns all the time. Yeah. We're going to get some some grease and oil on it. Usually, usually I'm doing the maintenance because I got his car up here at the house. Yeah. And he's away. Have you heard from uh, Patrick or Steve? Haven't heard anything I from them. Yeah, it's up. You can see it back this way. Oh yeah, there. Oh, it's easy enough to get to. Yeah. Oh, good. I got a good wrench for that one. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Yeah, he's always got, he's got, got a all bunch the tools. of different tools. <laughs> <laughs> I got a couple different ones. It'll still splash if you in the face or wherever it wears. It's going to be hot. Hey, you don't want to wear one sneaker. <laughs> <laughs> These ones are my bar shoes, so they're already dirty. <laughs> White clothes and me don't get along. <laughs> I could be... I could be standing in the middle of an open field with white clothes on and I'll end up with dirt on me. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. Drain's okay. good. Drain's real good when it's hot. That's an aluminum pan, so we're sticking to that. Yeah, see a little bit more on there. Hmm. Just some real fine stuff, whatever it is. Yeah. Look at you. 
<laughs> Bunch of locks. Yep. Just loosen her up good, then you'll be able to smack it off by hand with the, with the tool. It ain't gonna leak right away. You, yeah. you got time to get it loose first. Oh, there you go. Leak. There you go. I'll tell you what I do with mine. I take a, I drive a, uh, a nice pick through them. There you go. Oh, oh yeah? Man. A rag. There you go, right there. <laughs> yeah. I always take an ice pick, drive it in the bottom of the filter, pull it out, let it drain. And that way, whenever I go take it down, I don't have a line. Yeah. That well on my truck's about, it's about eight inches tall, eight to 10 inches high. Oh, wow. It holds a quart at least. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a mess. Just keep it up there. Put it in a pan. Put it in there. Yeah, dump it right in the pan. It won't hurt it. Not terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's a learning experience. <clears throat> Ours are a treat to do. Yeah. Now, there's a guy on that forum site, uh, the 64, that made a, uh, an adapter for going. Yeah, I saw that. It looks convenient. Yeah, you got your the wheel side yeah and put it up in there and then he has a funnel for filling i like the funnel idea right i usually take a, i got a funnel i stick up in there on mine yeah i got so one of those flex flex funnels yeah yeah makes it work and I, always, and I always lay rides around the bottom first before i do it just that way if anything does go through it'll, yeah it'll pick it up yeah there's a gasket on the filter that sometimes it'll come off it's on there yeah it's still on there i'm gonna uh that's good they got a car that'll fit because it'll a lot of cars you can't do that because they, you know, they'll go in sideways or they'll go yeah. different ways. Yeah, straight up, yeah, you can get away with that. Get it to a point that it stops and then you can wipe it down, wipe your hands down so you can get a good grip on it. I guess that's good. <laughs> I can't get it anymore. It gives you a torque rating on this plastic cover. Oh. W20 full synthetic. <clears throat> I use that in the Chrysler's, my Jeeps, and yeah. I took the the uh, red line stickers off of them. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. Cleaned them up. You can buy a can of paint to match and paint yeah. to match the car or whatever you want on your hood if you want to change it up. Yeah. Of course, the black will match it. Yeah, I was just going to keep them black like they are. Somewhere up in Connecticut, maybe or something, had a, a sign shop, and I just said, hey, you make, here's what I want. I yeah. A picture of you. How come you're so quiet? Hmm? You're supposed <laughs> to be, this is like video, you're supposed to be talking to the video and telling people, you know, what's up, you haven't been here, and. Focusing. Focusing. <laughs> what, so you don't put oil all over the place? Yeah. Oh. You don't get to work on your car that often. Yeah. I guess I'm going to have to get some signage right here. The Ford and the Motor Car. Like, <laughs> some flags and stuff. If I haven't put anything up, I should. I got stuff. I should put it up. Yeah. Get yeah. some flags. I don't know. What do you think? He, he's he's a Mopar guy. Yeah. What do you think, George? Mopar? <laughs> he's Mopar. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I'll have to upgrade a little bit. Then I'll catch up to you guys. It's all my dad uh, bought back in the day. Oh yeah, just the first one was a '59 Plymouth Sport Fury 383, push button automatic. I remember that car. <laughs> car. <laughs> nice. Those were the days. And when I started driving, mom and went. They went to a '65 Dodge Monaco with a 383 in it, automatic. That was a fast little car. <laughs> nice. On the money. Good.
They make too much of a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you want to grab your uh, yeah. your uh, cover back on there? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that thing just pops right on. Clean her up. Looking good. Old change done. She was pampered this weekend. A wash, an oil change. Go ahead and get that oil running through her. give it a good sound there she is love this blue and white combination thing is nice it's like when it first turned those valves broke yeah and then i guess after a certain time period it came out it's a straight back always happier after an oil change. That's what I say. Now off to run some errands. That's a business to take care of. So the RTs, they come uh, with just a sport mode selector. So you can hit the sport. It'll change. Uh, I guess the shift points, reaction, and the uh, active exhaust. I guess it keeps the exhaust open. Gotta love the sound. V8 American Muscle. everybody for the support so don't forget to subscribe and like until next time take care